Good morning. I have been wanting to do a like a skincare haul or like a natural makeup haul video for a while. Woo. Um, and I'm just a slacker and I haven't, so I figured I'd do one right now. It's a little dark today because it's super rainy. Um, but whatever, I can't wait. I can't wait on the weather to be how I want it to be. So I'm gonna do one now. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm just gonna do one based on what I got yesterday or based on what I've been getting the last like month or so because I've really been getting a lot of stuff. Um, I'm getting ready to do my hair um, and my face because I'm going to the wine country in Oregon today. I don't even know what that means, but that's what my coworkers keep texting me. So. That's what I'm calling it. I have no idea where I'm going and I'm also not drinking because I gave up like carbs and sugar for the most part and wine is just sugar to me so and I'm not a big wine person anyway because I'm like a child when it comes to wine. I want it to be really sweet so I definitely am not drinking any wine and I never really enjoy wine as much as most people when we go anyway so it's not a super big deal to me but anyway now I'm rambling and not even talking about anything that important. Um, so anyway um, I think I'll just show you what I got now because it's still in its cute little containers and maybe I'll show you the lip stuff that I got most recently as well because I still have the containers for that. Um, and then maybe I'll insert some swatches because I did take pictures when I got um, when I got those. Um, so yeah, so what, turn off the water. What happened was Beauty Blush Bar, Blush Beauty Bar, which is this cute local shop in Oregon, had their 12th birthday I'm looking at myself in the mirror look how crazy um their their 12th birthday yes this weekend um and so they had a huge like kind of blowout in it um and so I went and they were like giving away like free gift with purchase and they also had these bins like if you spend this much you can get something free out of this bin and blah 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 and it was just like extra and Ilya Beauty which is one of my favorite brands has this new beauty balm that I've been dying to try and so I was like waiting for them to put it out because I wanted to try it before I buy it and usually I have to order it online and just see if I like it and that can be a little nerve-wracking not because I am worried that I'm not gonna like anything from them because I love everything but like am I gonna love it like like it versus love it which is how I feel with every brand that I love makeup wise and I just wanted to try it and see what it was like because it's like supposed to be glowy but not actually like it's a bomb so it's like a bomb but it's supposed to have like a sheen or a glitter to it and I couldn't really figure out from how they were describing it if it was going to be like super glowy and I was going to be like glitter or like I just didn't really I didn't really know so I was like I just need to try it so they have had it and been holding it hostage and I've been like going in like I want to try this let me try this and they haven't been letting me try it um so um, this is what their bag looks like. And I'm going to show you my goodies. And then I'm also going to show you um, the free gift. The extra free gift that I got to pick out of the bin. On top of the free gift that I got with my Ilya purchase. Because I got an Ilya gift because I got two things. I got two of their new products, which I'm super pumped about. And maybe I'll show you my Alima stuff that I got. I actually got, actually got the one of the... One of the things I got from Alima last time was the wrong thing and they just emailed me so I think they realized they gave me the wrong thing because I've been meaning to write them and be like, hey, this isn't what I ordered, but I'm a slacker so I haven't done it yet. So I need to be like, ha, ha, ha. No, that's not what I got. So I'm going to try to set this. No, that's too low. Um, I'm going to try to set this somewhere where it makes sense. Hold on. Stand by. I'm not. I don't know how things work. Ugh. Yeah, I'll be in the frame. Okay, cool. I think this is okay. Ooh. Cool. So, um, this is the thing I picked out. Now, I have a lot of feelings about this because I have a lot of feelings about anything that isn't natural. So, I usually use Eco Tools, which is like an inexpensive but all natural organic brand. Um, this is obviously a synthetic brushes, but I've heard good things about them. And... I haven't done my research to really feel, see how I really feel about using these brushes. But um, I do know that synthetic brushes work very different than organic natural brushes. And um, natural brushes 
are not always the best for all different types of makeup applications. So I'm going to do some research and see how I feel about having synthetic brushes. And I'm going to hope that once I do my research, I'm not like, man, I can't use this on my face because I'm super, super weird, which is why I make all natural skincare because I'm super weird about everything. Um, so this is why I went. <laughs> This is the only reason that I went to Beauty Blush Bar. Aside from the fact that they talked a really good game. They were doing free brows, which I didn't get my brows in because I haven't grown them in enough for it to be useful. I can just pluck the hairs that are there. So I was like, murmur. Um, they're doing mini facials and makeup applications and just like the works. They were hooking it up. So, and it's like they're super cute. I love their cute new packaging. Everybody that I, all the brands, the makeup brands that I use, all the all natural makeup brands that I use have been really stepping their game up. Like, it's like a really good moment right now for natural makeup. Like, the mascaras have been getting more on point. Their eyeliners have been on point. Like, their colors have, like, like Alima Pure has been killing it in the eyeshadow color, uh, like, market. Like, highlighters have been on point. And, like, their packaging. Everyone recently has been revamping their packaging. So, usually, um, Ilya has like all their silver and be, I think before was it brown did they go from brown to silver to white I don't know their new their new stuff first of all has SPF in it <sighs> a lot SPF is really fucking hard hard to formulate in natural products let me say I say this because I don't have any SPF in any of my products because it's hard to formulate because you have to go and get it tested and it's really expensive to get any of it tested and like it's just like a really long arduous process and it's something that I think everyone's really passionate about but it's just like hard it's just really hard and it's something I still haven't even figured out especially being such a small skincare brand so anyway that's a rant um this is the all your go skin balm it is not super glowy but it definitely has like a shine or a sheen to it um so when you I don't know if you can see that. Um, when you rub it in, like it's not like a tinted moisturizer, but it's not just like a like a regular cream either. It just has like a little sheen. I don't know if you can see that at all. It just has like a like a like this iridescent quality to it that I'm obsessed with it. Maybe later I'll try to take pictures or do a snapchat or something I don't know if this is coming through on the camera at all but like I'm here for it like it just gives you a little dewy kind of finish which I love I'm super pumped so I'm really excited for that and it's like it's just like beauty bomb SPF 20 so like yeah um and I usually use <sighs> juice beauties um B, uh, CC cream, BB cream, CC cream, CC cream. Uh, hold on, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, CC cream. So they're stem cellular repair CC cream, but I kind of wanted to try. Since I'm using the beauty balm, I was considering maybe trying um, Ilya's tinted moisturizer. And I tried it there, and it's not bad. I just didn't feel like it was that much different. And texture and application than this so I don't know I still have a lot of this left and I'm not gonna like swap over so I'll just see how this works with um, this and this also has SPF 30 so now I'm killing it in the SPF game what that's a lie because I don't put it on my face every day because I'm a slacker and sometimes I don't put anything on my face because I suck anyway <laughs> moving on um, so yeah so this is the reason that I went into the store. Well, let's talk about what happened when I really went into the store. And that was actually pretty good because I spent way too much money the last weekend that I um, went out. So I was like, okay, don't do it to yourself. Um, so then while I was there, even though I just bought like four lip balm, lip products from Ilya last weekend, um, I got their, one of their new SPF, what are they calling this, lip conditioners. So, legit just bought at least three lip conditioners and a lip stick from Ilya. But this color, again, so first of all it has SPF in it, which I was just like, I probably should care about SPF on my lips, but I don't, because I'm a terrible person. 
Um, even though I care about, S I gotta open this from the bottom. Even though I care about SPF everywhere else, well, that's a lie, because I just said I don't put the SPF product on my face every day. Like, I clearly am just trying to get skin cancer. I can't open this. Um, ooh, ooh. Look how pretty their new packaging is. Jeez, it's so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, this color also just had such a pretty sheen to it. It's like a corally color, which is like, I'm just obsessed with like corally lips. You guys want to see this? I'll just put it on. See? So cute. So like, it's like a... Um, it's not like a super orangey curly color, which is what I already have got from them. Like I got a lot of super orangey curly colors from them. Um, and then um, it came, so the gift was purchased that I got. So this is their old packaging that I think they're gonna keep. I think this is just gonna be for their SPF line, the white, to represent this as SPF. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do, but um, the free gift with purchase that I got, ironically, is another lip conditioner. And I just got the two other orange colors that they have that are lip conditioners. And so ironically, the only one left was Voila, or Viola? Voila, um, which is also like a, like a even or more orange, more orange red, red orange kind of color, if you can see that. Um, so now I own basically, it's so funny, last year I was like, I just want like an orange corally lip. And now I basically own every freaking orange, and I didn't buy any last year, or the year before last. And now I own pretty much every single color that they have that's in even remotely an orange corally color. So I'm rocking it this summer apparently. And to go with this one, cause I got to go in the bins. Oh no, this isn't from the bins. This is like, I was walking around seeing what else they had because they have a couple of like uh, clearance bins of things I think they're getting rid of. And this is like a vegan all natural brand that has lip glosses that I got, that I found out about when I was in New York um, in April for my brother's wedding. And this is like a super pretty or um, also corally, almost like a peach actually, like a peach color. And I thought it would be so pretty to layer over this color or maybe even this one. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. To give it more, uh, even more of an orangey color. And make it glossy. I had stopped wearing glosses for like 10 years, I feel like. So now I'm back on the gloss train, I guess. Um, and so yeah, so now I own two armors. And this was like normally, it's normally 24 and it was on sale for 12. Because they did 50% off. Because I think they're basically getting rid of it yeah so those were the the makeup -y things i got and then they had all natural nail polish and normally i use 10 over 10 nail polish there's not a 10 over 10 in oregon or the bay area and there's no 10 over 10 nail salon so i never really get my nails done on the west coast there's a place i go to in oakland that i don't love that's overpriced and doesn't do a good job or as good of a job as 10 over 10 but um zoya is also an all natural i think they're three free 10 over 10's polishes are eight free which i'm more of a fan of and i'll talk I'll, maybe i'll put a link in the description about all that because i'm not going to talk your ear off about that in this video because that's probably already going to be pretty long um but these are all natural polishes um how natural um, I think just three free. Yeah, so they're formaldehyde, toluene, I can't read this because it's so shiny, Di dibutyl, phthalate, and camphor free. So these are like four free, four. They're four, free of the four top toxins that you don't want in your polish, right? two three yeah four four free so that's better than three free so like basically a couple years ago people started removing three of the top um which was um i think it was just the, the formaldehyde the toluene and the dibutyl phthalate and this one also removes the camphor and then eight free 
I can put a link in, which is what 10 over 10 is, is doing. And, and yet their polish is still kick ass. Like I literally have a pedicure from a month ago still on my toes that is pop popping that I need to just remove and get a new pedicure. <laughs> but I don't because it's super cute and I'm not really good about getting pedicures regularly. So these are two colors I got because I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos with people with like these opaque colors on their nails and it looks so cute. And I don't normally do these kind of like pastel, like opaque colors. But I kind of want to try them. So these polishes were only 10 bucks. And it was buy one, get one half off. And maybe that sounds like a lot to people who don't use natural polishes. I don't know. But to me, that was like a good deal because normally my polishes are like 16, 20 bucks. Because that's what, what happens with natural products. So um, when I saw that these were only like 10 bucks, I was like, oh, and half off, I can get this one for five. Yes, please sign me up. So anyway, that's what I got. And because I got all that, I got to get the free gift, or the free Ilya gift, so I didn't have to pay for this at all. It was a free gift. And I got this guy. So to me, that was a super successful <laughs> shopping gift because of what I normally spend. And then also I got some free samples of this guy, which is just a cure, which I love. It's a really inexpensive all natural brand if you like get sticker shock when you look at all natural brands because they are super pricey which is why I even started making skincare in the first place because holy crap it's really pricey which is why it's so hard for people to transition um, but Acura is really good natural brand that is really inexpensive I will just show you really quickly some of my other Ilia products I'll be right back So I wasn't joking when I said that I kind of went crazy right before this with Ilya. I bought four, four, four other colors before this, which is why it was ridiculous. And hopefully they're all here. On the orange side, to give you an idea of the other, of just how many corally oranges I now own, <laughs> this is shell shock and it is like a pinky coral so this was voila this is shell shock um and then there, i own dizzy i'll show you that one and dizzy like the the probably the uh, the oranges of all of them it's just like a straight up orange. I almost wish it, wish it wasn't a lip conditioner because even though it's orange, because it's a lip conditioner, I feel like it doesn't pop as much on my lip. Maybe I'll take this one off so you can see it. Dizzy. Dizzy is super orange, it's super pale, and it's a lip conditioner. So I feel like I don't know, to me it doesn't pop as much as I would hope. <laughs> oh, I'm super mucusy. <laughs> Isn't that what you want to know about? Um, so yeah. So what was I gonna say? Yeah, so those are my oranges, and then on the other side of things, I did get one last lip conditioner, which is like a fuchsia super cute and then I got one actual lipstick that is not a lip conditioner it's just a regular lipstick and it is also kind of on like the fuchsia side yeah so as you can see lip obsessed lately for some reason oh why did i do this i think they were having they were having a spring lip sale for 15 percent off and i was like bloop 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 that's what happened clearly sale is a dirty word in my life lately but yeah so i hope <laughs> i hope i'm done i needed eye stuff because i've been obsessed with like the idea of having like a rose gold eyeliner but no one makes it so that's what happened with the alima and i'll just do like a separate video on that because I looking at the basket of Alima Pure 
<laughs> and I can't do that this video because it is out of line also. Um, and then I wanted, again, spring lips. And then this was just like, again, I really, I don't know, I'm obsessed with like the whole like vibrant spring look apparently. I don't know if it's because like the rain or also because like in Oregon when it isn't raining, it's super pretty and I just want to have like fun, colorful looks. I did buy a lot of cute spring clothes and I just want to tie it all, the, all together. I also bought a lot of cute spring shoes, lots of sandals, lots of heels, which I don't normally do. And I guess I'm just having a really girly summer, spring kind of thing. Sometimes I'm just like real laid back and like just sneakers and jeans and like, I don't know. I'm feeling really feminine and flirty and it's showing in my purchases. So, oh, I also got this really fun mascara. Last thing. It's kind of, it kind of sucks a little bit in the dark because I have such dark lashes and brows. So like, even though this is like a bronzy gold mascara, unless I'm in the light, I feel like you can't really see it. But I notice when I go to do this in the mirror when I'm putting it on that it does show up. So I think I don't see it as much as I want to see it. But like, I feel like if you have lighter brown lashes or brows and you put it on, it's like, it's, I, I mean, I think it's super gorgeous. It's called Macau, and this is also by Ilya. Um, and then my, oh, my highlighter that I use all the time. Uh, this is what I use when I'm not doing shit on my face. I just do, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm really about to go wash my face and, like, have to take all this shit off. But anyway, so this is, like, the highlighter I use, like, real quick when I'm like, oh, shit, I don't have time. And I just throw that on. I just made that look hella crazy. And I just patted it. And then I melt the dough. Um, so that's like my super quick look. Yeah, and I could just rock that and call it a day, basically. So yeah, so that's what I bought. It's like a haul video. It's like my first haul video because I don't have any. And I, I'm a damn, I'm a damn lie because I, I buy makeup all the time and I never wear it. And I should just like show it to you because this is like natural makeup which i think is useful for people if you ever want to transition into natural makeup like there's so many good brands right now doing good shit and i kind of want to share it with you so i'll try to do more of these when i buy hella shit share it with you and let you see what i have